Hi everyone, I'm going to show you guys of how to find the center of mass of this uh, diagram. As you can see, it looks like a cone that's being chopped off from the top, right? So you you can, uh, you know, find the volume using volume. We can find the center of mass. So I will use volume to find the center of mass, but I'm going to do this question with a different approach. So if you guys go carefully, if I just chop this from the center, just that it, let's say I just draw the dash line, can you see that this part could be true in another part? This line, then this line, if I take them. Okay, and let's say the dashed line is the x-axis. Let's just assume it's the x-axis. And just imagine as if those blue lines are being rotated around the x-axis. So if this is the x-axis or y-axis, I'm now taking it as y-axis since it's the vertical. Can you see if it's rotated around the y-axis, 360 degrees, can you see this this shape is being formed. These two lines will be forming that exact shape, right? Our full uh, our 3D shape. So what I'm going to do is I hope you all understood. If you guys have any doubts with it, doubt, please drop a comment. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna I'm gonna draw the x and y axis. Like that. Okay, and then remember the the blue lines I labeled previously. So we'll have one line like this, and the other line like this, right? So let's say this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. So then what would these coordinates be? These coordinates, what would they be? So can you see if I perfectly cut it from the center, like you see the dashed line, right? So mm. this distance would be 1, right? And this distance would be 2. So if this coordinate is 2 and this coordinate is 1, you can see the whole length is 4, but when you divide by 2, it's 2. And when you divide 2 by 2, it's 1, right? So do, these are the points. And what would this point be? So this would just be 1, right? It's just a straight line. What would this coordinate be? So that would be this point, right? This point. So if this is your vertical and the whole total distance is 8, the total distance of the base is 8, but we'll, we, we've only taken half of the section. So this height is 4, right? That's 4. But this length won't get divided, right? It's 8 straight away. So your coordinate, that coordinate would be 8, 4, right? 8. Awful. I hope you all understood. If you guys have any doubts, please drop a comment. I'll uh, explain it again. It's a colorful. So now we have the coordinates for this line. I'll call it T1, T2. So let's find the, the equation of T1. Equation of T1. So eight comma four and zero comma two. Right? So how do you find the gradient? So it's two minus four over zero minus eight, giving you minus two over minus eight, which is one over four, right? So y equals one over four x plus c. So what's c? You can straight away get it, because you can see the intercept is two, right? Zero comma two. 
So you can write y equals 1 over 4 x plus 2. This is t1. And t2 is y equals 1, right? It's just y equals 1. So now we have two lines. So using these lines, I'm going to give, provide, give you some equations. So we can find the center of mass using these lines. So first we'll have to find the volume. So equation for volume under a line is pi into the integration of the i intervals, a to b, fx squared dx. And your center of mass is pi over v intervals a to b and x into fx squared dx. So I also have to mention to you guys that this cylinder, the cylinder inside the cone, it's a cutout, right? The cylinder is a cutout. So we'll have to subtract that volume when taking the final volume, right? So when finding the volume under y, uh, y equals 1, we'll have to subtract it from uh, the other volume, the total volume we get, right? So this is how we do it. Let's, let's go for the volume. So volume equals pi. What's the intro is going to be? 0 to 8, right? This is the origin. 0 to 8. 0 to 8. And we have 1 over 4x plus 2 squared minus 1 squared. So now let it integrate. So 1 over 4 x plus 2, when you square, you get 1 over 16 x squared plus uh, oh. x plus 4. I think I'm correct. Yep. Minus 1, right? Okay. So 1 over 16 x squared integrated is x to the power 3 over 48, right? Plus x to the power 2 over 2 plus 4 minus 1 is 3, which gives you 3x, right? So now you can just sub in your values. So I'm going to use the calculator. So I get the volume as 200 over 3. Pi. That is the one that I get. So now let's go for the center of mass. We found the volume of our star of the object. So now mm. let's go for the center of mass. X dash equals pi over V integration 0 to 8 X into 1 over 4 X plus 2 squared minus one squared, right? X. Um, just remember, I'm putting the minus, I'm putting minus one squared because we are subtracting that volume off. We are subtracting the cylinder. Just remember that. Don't forget that. So zero to eight. So we previously had x into the expansion was one over 16 x squared plus x, plus x, plus 4, minus 1, right? We can just straight away bring this 3. So now let's expand the brackets. So we have x to the power 3 over 16, plus x squared, plus 3x. Now we have to integrate this. Okay, now we have x to the power of 4 over 4 into 16 is 64, right? That's the integration plus x to the power of 3 over 3 plus 3x squared over 2. Okay, I'm putting the intervals now. Just let's leave it as pi over v. We can do the substitution at the end. So I'm going to use my calculator again. So I get 
992 over 3 for that into pi over v, right? So 992 over 3 into pi over v had 200 over 3 pi, right? Let's cancel those off. So now you get 992 over 3 into 3 over 200. This will give you 4.96. What were the mission rates? So that is the center of mass. So if you look at the the diagram, so the center of mass we got would be from this point, like from from here. So from here to some point over there, it's 4.96. So if they ask you the center of mass, let's say they ask you center of mass from the base, what would that be? It would just be 8 minus 4.96, right? 8 is the total height, so you just subtract it with 4.96. And that gives you 3.04 centimeters. Both answers are active, except on row, right? So this is the center of mass, but if they ask you the center of mass as a coordinate, so since it's perfectly symmetrical, you'll only have uh, the center of mass along the vertical, right? The other center of mass would just be zero, because you can see it's perfectly symmetrical. So you can write your answers, either 4.96 comma zero, from the top or 3.04 comma 0 from the base those are the answers I hope you all understood if you guys have any doubts please drop a comment so you can see using integration this question is really easy right it's easy but if you do it the other way, the other way is where you uh, find the volumes, let's say, it's just an example, right? So this is our cone, right? Cone looks like this. So originally it would look something like this, right? So the usual methods that most, uh, almost everyone learns first is you find the volume of the total cone and then subtract it off with this cone and then find the center of mass for uh, this shape, this shape, and then you have to cut out the cylinder, find the center of mass of the cylinder, and subtract it off from this chopped cone, and then you get your final answer. So how many ma how many stuff should you do for that? It's a long process, right? So that's why integration will come in handy for these type of questions. So anyways, leave a like and subscribe. Have a great day. Thank you so much.